Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and I kind of already warned you, but we can't leave all the hype for this year for just one phone. So this is another. I don't know if you've seen this already, or if you haven't, but this is the iPhone 7 Plus model. So obviously we're expecting an iPhone 7 to be announced and released probably around September of this year. And we kind of already know all of the new software features because iOS 10 beta has been floating around and people have been using it for the past couple weeks. I did a video showing all of the new features at WWDC. But what we don't have yet and what's going to be announced is the new hardware. So there's been rumors of a new iPhone 7 Pro or an iPhone 7 Plus along with an iPhone 7. Whatever you want to call it, this is more than just like a render from a computer of an image of what it might look like. This is an actual dummy unit put together based on all the leaks and rumors of what the iPhone 7 Plus is going to look like and feel like in the hand. Made of metal and everything. So let's take a closer look at what you'll notice. There's three main features that are visibly new about the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus based on this body. One, the antenna lines. Two, the headphone jack, or lack thereof. And three, the dual cameras. So the antenna lines are pretty much the only aesthetic or visual change between this year's iPhone and the new one we're about to get. So this year's antenna bands go all the way across and around the top and the bottom. This year, it's looking like it's just the top and the bottom and nothing across the back. Looks cleaner to me, I guess. Didn't really have a problem with the bands, but this is fine. I guess this might be one of those things where it's the only way you can tell someone has the new iPhone, unless there's a new color, which there might be. Uh, number two is the headphone jack, or the lack thereof. You probably already saw this video earlier, but yeah, the rumors still point to Apple getting rid of the headphone jack in the next iPhone, so this model has no such port. What you do get though, which is interesting, is now two speaker grills, which I'm gonna be optimistic and hope that that means stereo speakers like the iPads. Now it's very possible that this may just be another speaker grill for a single speaker, but I'm gonna be optimistic. I'm hoping they use this space to put in another driver. Please give us stereo audio. Anyway, last but not least, you can see the dual camera module on the back. So, all right, at this point, that's all we really know about it. Like we know that it'll have two cameras, but we don't know what they will do or we don't know if they'll be the same or different. I made an entire video all about dual camera smartphones already, so I'll link that below, but there are some that already have one wide angle and one normal smartphone camera that you can switch between. There are smartphones that have two of the same camera that combine the image to get more detail. We don't know what Apple's doing with the iPhone 7 Plus, but we're pretty sure it will at least be rocking the dual camera setup. You may have also noticed that this mock-up does not have the couple of smart connector pins that we have seen on some other mock-ups. And this actually relates to the rumor that we may see an iPhone 7 Pro, which will connect to some accessories like the iPad Pro via those smart connector pins. And then this, which is just an iPhone 7 Plus, doesn't have the pins, and then we can also assume a regular size iPhone 7 also won't have those pins. Overall though, pretty similar design to iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S that we already have, you know, same rounded shape, same thickness, same button placement, you know, same switches, bezels, the home button, everything is super similar already about the overall design. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that something that we haven't seen in any of the mock-ups or in any of the leaks is a new display on the front of the iPhone. I feel like they could double the resolution of the display and I feel like they could also finally incorporate an OLED display in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. Now that's obviously, we won't be able to tell this from the mock-ups, we can't tell this from the dummy units, but I feel like it's about time we give the bigger iPhone a much nicer screen. Anyway, that's pretty much it, just a short video, obviously not a whole ton that you can learn from the dummy units and mock-ups from the rumors we've already seen, but it's just kind of neat to have the actual form factor in person and just see what it would look like if you were to hold it in the hand. Either way, let me know what you guys would think if you're into this design, new design of the iPhone 7, or if you would have liked some other features or something else, let me know in the comments section right below that like button. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.